Hey everyone, it's Jen Morgano. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator with Stamping Up. I am a crafter. I have a blog and this YouTube channel and many other things under Card and Mom by Jen Morgano. Today we're going to be making this great card using Autumn Leaves uh, Bundle. It's this beautiful stamp set with some really nice dies um, to help make your project very, very, very nice. Now I am using this paper, which unfortunately is on back order. <laughs> um, it is all about autumn, but it has some really nice, nice, nice um, colors and patterns and also some nice realistic scenes too. Uh, so keep an eye for that to come back. I'm probably going to get another pack. I'm also using a new online exclusive silver and gold um, paper. I'm using the gold in this project. Uh, you're probably saying, Jen, we've had gold sparkle paper before, but have we had it? With an adhesive back. No, we have not. So that is one step that Stamping Up has taken uh, to make crafting a little bit easier, especially when we're cutting this little uh, thin piece here. We don't have to worry about fussing, uh, fussing with glue on these little tiny pieces. That it has adhesive back. You cut it out. You peel it off. Slap it on. So let's make this card. This is also a cute kind of peekaboo through card, um, where it has this window sheet behind it, so you can see through to the inside. I think it's kind of a neat look. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna bring out our stamp, uh, stamp and trimmer. A very essential part of my crafting um, repertoire, if you will. <laughs> We're gonna start with a piece of crumb cake uh, cardstock as our base. Now I'm gonna cut it to four and a quarter by 11. My first step is going to be to score at five and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to move that score line to the two inch mark. And I'm gonna cut. Oh. Okay, so that's gonna be the first part of our card here. Okay, and I'm gonna take this extra piece that I cut off from here and cut out a piece at one and a half. That's gonna be our bottom piece. We are also going to be using a window sheet that <laughs> oh, hey, clear piece of window sheet is going to be cut at four and a quarter by three. Okay, so let's put that together to show you how I did that. I'm going to be using some tear and tape. You could use liquid glue if you'd like as well. Um, just be mindful that you're going to have to wait there with it until it dries. Um, tear and tape's kind of done when you do it. So we're gonna take that smaller one and a half inch piece on the bottom, like put a piece of tear and tape along the top. Use my take a pick tool here, boop, peel that up. And I'm gonna take that window sheet and just kind of line it up, a little overlapping that piece of tear and tape. Now what I'm gonna do is this open flap here, I'm going to open it up and put a piece of tear and tape right along that border. Okay. I'm going to take this piece here that we have, I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the card. I'm going to hold it down and take this flap, just press it down. So that way you're kind of guaranteed that it'll stay and it's lined up. Perfect, right? <laughs> okay, so let's take two pieces of our DSP. I cut these at four and a quarter by um, one and seven eighths. No, yes, one and seven eighths. I did it again, I didn't get my glue out, I'm sorry. Okay, let me get the other piece too while we're here. The beauty of it. Next, we're probably not going to use glue on the other pieces that are on the card because, well, a little bit. Those are adhesive ready. Ha <laughs> Okay, just line that up. Nicey nice. Oops, a little crooky crooky. <laughs> but I was using liquid glue, so it wiggled, right? <laughs> then we're going to take a smaller piece down here, and that is four and a quarter by one. <laughs> And, <coughs> excuse me, one and three eighths. I lied, it's one and a half 
that's four yeah no one and three eighths I didn't lie sorry <laughs> okay now I took a piece a scrap of misty misty mauve moody mauve and I cut that out with this die and then I took that nice adhesive gold and I used these beautiful leaf shapes so this be the veins for this one and then two of these leaves to cut out those come out so nice so what we're going to do is peel off the adhesive back, or some of it, oh, okay. We're going to line it up where we want it, press down. There we go. And then you kind of figure out where you want to put everything. So I'll just to match this card that I first made as my sample. So we'll peel the back off of this. How easy was that? <laughs> you know, what, let me glue this guy down first. I'll just put some glue dots here. This is gonna be sticky, so it's okay. Put the glue dots there. Just press that down. And we'll put him over here. And then we'll put this other little leaf down in the lower right hand corner. And let's see if we can lift this up a little bit before the glue dries. And just, there we go. All right. So now for the sentiment here, I've pre cut from a piece of very vanilla um, this little label shape. And then using the Moody Mauve, I'm going to stamp with a Grateful Heart. Boop. Easy, easy. Um, I did not pop this up on the sample. I just put it down with a little bit of glue. So we'll do that again. Put some glue along the bottom edge. Don't put your finger in it like I just did. <laughs> and then just put it on the bottom there. Okay, and we'll finish it off with something else that I think is still on back order. These speckled dots. Oh, they're so pretty. But you could use anything, um, really. Gold would also go well with this. Oops. Hey, okay, stop moving. Um, some other nice paper that they have is, um, is it the tartan paper? What's the name of it? It's really pretty. It's like a gingham platy type of design. There we go. Okay. And of course, if you want to put a nice little sentiment panel on the inside, you just take um, a standard size insert, a uh, four by five and a quarter piece of very vanilla, and glue that in on the inside. Not bad, right? Shimmery, shiny, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little project. Uh, if you did, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have a blog post linked in the description as well with all the specific um, measurements, as well as links to the products that I used. I should also have links to my other social media sites. If you like following people on Instagram or Facebook, I'll include all that info, right? Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I hope you have a happy, crafty day. <laughs> Bye.